All right, I'm going to talk about this one comment, and I'm going to focus on this idea of the current world being 12,000 years old. So let me read the comment first from Roderick. He says, Bro, Jimmy, I think the current world could be 12,000 years old if one considers six days as 6,000 years of creation. Then, plus the time from then to now, primarily I wanted to ponder that not only at the cross but also 70 AD destruction of Jerusalem was the deadly head wound the beast system sustained and today that same synagogue of Satan is deceiving, making a comeback of sorts. The wound is being healed basically. In my humble opinion, since the 1940s, the world, Revelation 13.3, has been wondering after the beast and Rome, which is one of the heads. Okay. I, I will tell you, undoubtedly, all that is just hogwash. All right. But this also is hogwash. So let's focus on the first hogwash. All right. Without, without uh, you know, understanding this one. In my opinion, you have to understand one point in order to understand the whole matter. All right, so let's focus on this. Maybe this will help you, Roderick. Maybe it'll help somebody else. But this should be very plain to see, in my opinion. So let's read the first five verses of Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day now this idea of uh, you know the earth being 12,000 years old this is not Roderick's idea All right, Roderick is a very smart very bright man but he's not that smart to come up with it on his own somebody suggested this to him I believe he's considering it. There's no way in the world he could be 100% sold on it because there's no truth to it at all. You have to now say that, one, this took God a thousand years. All right, and then there's no logical way to explain the evening and the morning were the first 1,000 years. Now, were the first day. The evening and the morning were the first day. You can't get around that. You, you have to now say that the Bible is not true, which is the same thing as saying that God is a liar because the Bible is the Word of God so now you have to say I have more understanding than God they're, they're, that's the only way you can justify taking this position and the reason I bring this up is to to share some clarity of the stance that you're taking so that you understand that if that's what you believe just be honest about what you believe that that's what you have to believe in order to to make that claim. Isaiah 29 verse 16 Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for shall the work say of him that made it he made me not or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it he had no understanding. God didn't understand how God made everything. Is that I mean the isn't that what you're saying? God didn't understand the evening and the morning were a thousand years. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't ring true. And I don't know, 
why people so are so quick to believe a lie basically right I mean come on so we read it I'm gonna just share a couple of verses here uh, there should leave no doubt really I want to go back up here where am I at here all right I apologize I don't know where I'm at here right there it is Exodus 20 verse 11 Exodus 20 is where we get the law where we get the Ten Commandments that were given by God to Moses and Moses read them to the people and what Moses read is for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day all right so did God lie to Moses it, you that's what you have to say that's the only argument that you, you can make because this idea that well this is uh, you know only secret knowledge that you know that God didn't know and that Moses didn't know is that six days actually meant six thousand years well I want you to, now seriously consider this so we'll go back to second Peter three or whatever that was I forget oh what is that what is that verse second Peter 3 verse 8 but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years all right so we stop there let's let's be ignorant about this and we'll say okay well one day with the Lord is as a thousand years so six days with the Lord be six thousand years so hold on let's take another approach to this and a thousand years as one day so a thousand years you're gonna have what is it 365,000 days and out of those 365,000 days you're gonna have six days you see what I'm getting at where is that at six days so six days so this took what two minutes or a minute maybe may, not even a minute is it let's do let's do the math here okay so that's how much of a day how many minutes in a day you see what I'm getting at here a thousand years is one day so six days out of a thousand years I mean, I'm not even sure are we talking about a second seconds in a day so eight six four zero zero you see what I'm getting at here I, I think I did that wrong didn't I or what am I looking at here so it's more than a second all right, so this I think if I'm doing this right, it's 1.4 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing this on the fly. You know what? I don't know if that's right, but I think it is. 1.4 seconds. So why why not instead of saying 
the six days took 6,000 years, you could go back, oops, go back, possibly, if I wasn't so button happy, and if I knew where I was at, you could say, well, a thousand years as one day. So instead of saying 6,000 years, you know, the, the creation week, instead of saying it was 6,000 years, you could say it was 1.4 seconds. I mean, what's the, why are you taking one side and not the other? Because here in Second Peter, it, it gives two examples here. The one day is with the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So that would come up to creation week being either 1.4 seconds or 6,000 years. Well, how about this idea? What if in Genesis 1... Verse 5, it says, <clears throat> excuse me, the evening and the morning were the first day. What if that was actually the truth? What if it actually was one day? Wouldn't that be amazing? That the Bible is actually true? And that all these people that are pushing these false, these other ideas are liars. Is man true and God a liar? God forbid, yeah. Let God be true, but every man a liar. Right? So I, I just want to share, share that with you. I mean, you got Exodus 20, verse 11. That should be enough right there. Genesis 1 should be enough. Right? And, uh, and then there's, you know, more, of course, but... It should be sufficient. Just one verse. If it says a day, then it means a day. I, I get it. A lot of people want to take that. No, one day with the Lord is a thousand years. Well, it's also a thousand years as, is as one day. That's to the Lord. That's the way he sees it. He sees the beginning from the end, the end from the beginning. He sees it all. And it's not, we're not, he's not, uh, you know, trapped by time or whatever. He's not, there's no, nothing prohibiting him or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, he's not limited to, well, I can't see that far in the future. He sees it all, man. He sees it all. He can see it all in a great length of time. And he can see it all in a very narrow amount of time so like you know he could see a car accident in super slow motion and he can know the exact thoughts of everybody in the area and from the frame by frame he knows exactly everything frame by frame so that's just you know I'm just giving an example but so it works one way and it works the other way but it has absolutely nothing to do with the creation period now I mean I could go on I mean really should I go on one more point let's see if I can find another example here in the New Testament here alright so we're gonna apply that for Jonas was 3,000 years in the whale's belly so also will Jesus be 3,000 years in the heart of the earth. Now why not, man? You're going to lie about one thing. Let's just lie about everything. And said, so this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and build it in 3,000 years. Well, they would just lift up their leg and toot. And not even, this wouldn't even be a thing. Okay. All right, whatever, buddy. No. Jesus said he would 
tear down the temple of God and build it back up in three days. And he did that with his own body. All right, so this puts to rest the idea of 70 AD. And it puts to rest the idea of a third temple. And this all goes, this whole idea goes back to Daniel 9. And Daniel 9, in order to make this claim about 70 AD, you have to say that the Antichrist is the Messiah. All right. I mean, just be honest, right? Be honest and just say, well, I believe the Antichrist is the Messiah. All right. Right there. Right there it is, buddy. And when he put an end to the sacrifices and oblations, that was when he offered his body a sacrifice once for all. That's already been accomplished, man. You're making doctrines out of stuff that's already been done, that's clearly stated in the Bible. By the which we by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Okay, so that's enough. First of all, get the twelve thousand years thing out of your head right forget about all that nonsense the Bible is not rocket science man the words are plainly written there for us to understand all we have to do is have faith just believe these are the words from God just have to believe 